Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Harry Torian. And Jinx here. And welcome to Small Land Survive the Wilds on the PlayStation 5. So, this is a survival crafting game where you play as a really tiny person. And it is a co op multiplayer game, so Jinx is going to be joining us. And we'll show you guys how the, the co op works and explain it. Uh, well, let's go and hop into a new save. We have played a bit and learned all the basics and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, you do get to create your character and there's actually quite a few different options here. So you got your, your body types. We're gonna go with this one here for our character. Jinx is currently making her character as well at the moment. So this guy's not quite as big as I am, but... <laughs> As big as he can get. As big as he's going to get, yeah. Uh, so you can zoom in a bit so you can get a better look at the faces. And I actually don't like the male strong face. Yeah. It's so a bit much. We're going to go with the regular one here. No offense if that's your real face. And I don't know. We'll just go with the pointed ears. I'm fine with those. Yeah, we'll go with that one. They look... Uh, Got you some bad ears. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we'll just go with the straight eyebrows. Gotta have that that beard, though. This one's obviously... There's not much to it. I wouldn't even call that full. It's a bit patchy. Yeah. <laughs> I wish you could have the beard from this with it connecting with the mustache that you get from the full beard. But unfortunately, these are your two options. And no really long beards. So that's a shame. Well, you don't want to take over your scarf. We'll go with the black. Can't change our antenna. Which one did you select, Jinx? The stabby one. The stabby one? This <laughs> one here? I'll <laughs> we'll just go with this one. Yeah, let's go with that one. This it's one kind of looks like some antlers. Yeah, a little bit. This one looks more bug-like. So we're going to go with that. Did you go with the herbal? Of course. Go with the blue here, and of course we gotta be bald, since I have no hair. But we do want to select a hair color, uh, hair color, because that controls our eyebrow color. And then the eyes are interesting. I almost want to just go with like a regular eye color here, <laughs> just common. And then we'll go with uh, looking for blue, maybe sapphire. Yeah, that'll work. There's so also blue. there's also a dark blue, but yeah, we'll stick oh, with the. I didn't see those. <laughs> with the ones down here at the bottom? Yeah. You didn't make it that far? No, I didn't. I was like, ah, violet. It's fine. Yeah, we'll go, go ahead and stick emerald, with that one. I guess. And then several different skin color options. I'm ghostly. Jinx is playing as ghostly. I'm just gonna be fair, I suppose. And then what I really like is these face markings. Cause I can cover my head. You can doodle on your noggin. Yeah, doodle on the noggin. <laughs> so we're gonna go with the vigorous one. Is that the one you got I too? I am vigorous. All right, so good to go here. Let's go ahead and confirm and name our character, which of course will be Praetorian. And then we'll show you guys how the server works, which we are not liking. It's a bit frustrating. Yeah, so. I'm going to create the server, and Jinx is going to join us, which I guess we'd want to delete this world here. We'll do that in a minute. I want to show you guys how it works with the joining. So you can filter, but outside of that, there's nothing else you can do here. You cannot search for a specific server name. You can't favorite a, f a server. You can't favorite a server. And so every time that Jinx wants to come in my world, she has to find it in this list of servers. And if you don't have any special filter up there, you will never find it. Jinx has been completely unable to find it unless we put a special restriction, which just having a, a password on there is not enough. Yeah, because everybody's got passwords. Yeah, because everybody's got passwords. Although we do have to tap it one more time to find the ones here that have passwords. So what we've been having to do is turn on the no weather deterioration because that reduces the number of servers by quite a bit. And so that will allow Jinx to find me. And it is unfortunate that we have to turn that setting on, so that means that our items outside will not deteriorate from the weather. 
But yeah, that's what we're going to have to do. Now we're going to go to create uh, a new world here. So let's going to get rid of this one. This will be online so Jinx can join. We'll have friendly fire turned off so that we're not hitting each other because it's... That's what? frustrating. That's a problem when we play. Obviously not going to have peaceful mode on. Uh, we will allow our inventory to be dropped and then we'll have to go get it at our gravestone. That's a classic survival gameplay component. So we will keep that turned on. Well, we'll have it turned off, I mean. And then we're going to have the disable building weather deterioration turned on so that Jinx can find me. You can select your day cycle. I almost want to change it. We had it at 45 and the days seem like they're going kind of quick. So we'll leave it at this for now. We can always change it. When you go back in your game, you can adjust all these settings. So yeah, we'll leave it at 45. And if we think it's too fast or maybe too slow, we can adjust that. This is your season cycle. I think the default is like 180. And so basically it's how many days each season is going to last. We turned this up a bit. So we could have a, a bit more time because I think the default would not, it would only result in a few days. And so we got up to 300 minutes at the moment. And then all the other settings we've got set at the default of 100%. All right, so we will set up a password here, which we will not show on the video so that we don't have people joining us. We've had that problem in the past where we put <laughs> the passwords in our videos and then people would start joining into our server. And so we don't want that. So we will have to, to do this off camera, but essentially we'll set the password and then we'll create a new world and then Jinx will join that world. And uh, you do have to reset this password every time, which is kind of unfortunate. I don't know why they won't let you keep the, the same password, but yeah, every time you go into it, you do have to reset the password. Years have passed since the small folk took sanctuary in the burrow, seeking refuge from the dangers above. Emerging now, they strive to reclaim the overland, a perilous realm where death lurks around every corner. The vanguards, intrepid pioneers of the small folk, are sent forth to establish the first settlements in this treacherous land. As a rookie vanguard, your initiation takes an unexpected turn when your party is attacked by a giant hornet. There is no voice acting in the game unfortunately so jinx and i will have I to you got sorry we'll have to do that <laughs> and so just like that we're already in the game guys so jinx is now going to work on joining us while we will talk to this guy so well that was unpleasant what was that thing attacking us a hornet i think though i've never seen one so aggressive are you injured i'll be fine rookie i just need to rest for a while is there anything i can do i fear with injuries like these i'm not going anywhere for a while you have to make a, re a report to Captain Hearn in my stead. Understood. Is the captain still in the burrows? He must be in the overland by now, but he's probably set up camp outside the burrows entrance. You'll have to make your way northwest from here, following the river. So I'll set out immediately. So the rest of this is just uh, tutorial information. Kind of click through it. We'll come back to him. So you guys can see all that. But we will not read through it. It's not really necessary because we've already played all this part. So at this point, we just want to collect resources. Jinx is still... It looks like she's found our server and she's putting a password in now, so she'll be here soon. Might want to leave a few of these sprouts for Jinx. I need some fibers. Yep, so she can get some fibers when she comes in. But we do need to find some wood as well. So we get that. And also this resin. And so this will allow us to craft the initial things that we need. Now you see we do start with a couple things here. We start with the wood club, simple bandage, some food, some traveler's armor, and that's it. The rest of it we'll have to craft ourselves. All right, so Jinx is into the game now. All right, I'm in. So we should see her. There she is. Let's take a look at your, your creative character. Since everybody's seen me, they have not seen you yet. Get all up in my grill. So that's that's what Jinx looks like. I'm a ghost. She's got them green eyes, as she does in real life. And she's pasty, like she is in real life. <laughs> she's not that ghosty, though, guys. That's no. a little extreme. I'm a yellow belly. 
<laughs> yeah, Jinx does have very, very white skin. I've always had a kind of like a red tint to me. Yeah, you're you're rosy. Yeah, very kind of rosy. Our kids got your rosy tone. Although I'm even more rosy than they are. That's true. Because I had to blend in with Jinx's. Whatever this is. <laughs> All right, so we'll get all these initial things picked up here. I can tan pretty well, though. But yeah, typical survival game, guys, in many ways. I like some of the things it's doing. Uh, combat, you know. <laughs> do you want that wood? I don't know if you've gotten it yet. I do not have wood yet. There's some wood on the ground over here if you want to get it. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the combat. Yeah. I mean, that, that again is often the case. There's wood to the left, too, Jinx. Oh, there's a lot of wood over here. I can get a little bit of this. And a berry, too. We'll pick these up. And looks like we might be in combat already. Yes, sir. The world is a very dangerous place. Alright, so this is just against one of these ants. Fighting them together, you can generally kill it fairly easily. And you can see Jinx swinging wildly and yeah. why we don't want friendly fire on. <laughs> <laughs> we can All eat right. the heads. We can eat the heads. They're delicious. Alright, so let's go ahead and actually start doing some craft now. So we're going to get a wood hatchet. And the wood hatchet will allow you to harvest certain things. Uh, but also, it's a pretty good weapon. If you look at the edge damage, it's 40 si uh, 4 to 6. Compared to the wood club, which does blunt damage, which is 2 to 3. And so the hatchet does more damage overall. And I think the edge damage is a little bit more useful. Just based on what uh, enemies seem to be weak to. So, wood hatchet is a solid weapon and crafting tool. So we'll get that, or excuse me, harvesting tool. We'll also get the builder's hammer, so we can start constructing things if we need to. And we're going to get a torch for when it gets dark. I still want a sword, though. Yeah, because I was looking at it, and it seemed like the sword outside of locking is not better than the hatchets. Oh, we need to actually get these things added to... Our inventory up here. But yeah, it was one thing I was talking about with Jinx is that if we looked at it, you know, the sword is certainly better at blocking. So if you're doing blocking, then it seems like the the sword is something you might want to get. But, I don't block. <laughs> but outside of doing that, outside of blocking, it seems like it does better damage. The hatchet does. I block with my face. <laughs> seems like a thorough way to do it. Uh, we're gonna eat this. Blackberry we found. Berries. You see, we don't have a lot of nourishments, but we do start with these mushroom steaks, so we'll go ahead and eat one of these as well. I think you need to get your nourishment up to 80 to be able to start healing. So let's eat one more. There we go. And so you can see it will slowly start uh, putting our health back up. I feel like there's something wrong with my character's back. I lean real far to the right. Oh, actually, let's get rid of this because we don't even use it. One of my legs is longer than the other. All right, guys, so we are ready to start exploring the world. We'll continue picking up resources as we go. There's a lot of stuff here in this beginning area. It seems like, given how many resources you need to craft things, particularly our first base, which we really hope to get the first base constructed in this first episode. We're going to try to get to that location if we, we can. We better get going. But yeah, we needed to collect all these resources along the way. So the roll's pretty helpful, I have found, for avoiding damage. They kind of telegraph there. Did you want his head, Jinx? Yes. I saw you are really excited about eating it. I want to wear it. Completely lost my train of thought there. Talking about ants. Ant heads. You want I'm this, sorry, I distracted you. You want this you. wood over here, Jinx? I got a lot of wood. I've been picking up everything. Like, it is like a stack-based system, right? Is there a weight? I think it's stack-based. Yeah, I, just I haven't said. seen anything about weight. Yeah, I think it's... Like, slots. Yeah. You, these are the slots oh you have. Oh, my frog. And I think you just carry as much as you can fit in there. We now, did not see that earlier. I Yeah, I saw it. Oh. I, I told you. Oh. I must have been running for my life. <laughs> yeah, I think you might have been at that time. But yeah, there's a big old frog over there in that can pond. Can I have him? I don't know that you can tame frogs. I'm gonna pet him. <laughs> yeah, he's a big old frog. He jumps funny. 
He it does. looks There's funny, actually. Wrong with him. Yeah, his wrong with leg his is longer than the other one too. I don't want to make fun of him or anything, but I can relate. And we got another one of these insects here. I'm coming. I feel like whatever I was talking about, it was about combat. Yeah, resources or something. I don't know. All right, but we're gonna collect all this stuff up along the way. Water again, is we bad. Do need, You'll die. Do need a lot of this Ooh, for our berries. base. Now we could use more food right now. We do not have. I'll take one if you want to take I got the other. Two already. Oh, okay. I'll take them both I then. Took we also need a lot of this fiber. So we have not played a survival game on the channel in a long time, guys. Like, this used to be our bread and butter. This is what we used to, to cover on the channel. Yep. I think we started with Seven Days to Die, which was the first successful series that Jinx and I did. You know, good time. The one I did by myself was Hearts Farm 4. That kind of made our channel. Oh, we leveled up. Show, up the, uh, show the level up system. So we got three attribute points. We can apply these to strength, increasing the damage you do. Dexterity, increasing our speed. Constitution gives you one health. Endurance gives you one stamina. And intelligence, I don't know how that affects crafting. Not entirely sure what that does. But uh, we're going to put this into constitution initially and strength. Help us out with the initial combat experience here. Because you definitely need more health. Why have I not leveled up? You didn't level up yet? No. Well, maybe we weren't picking up as much crap as I was. Didn't you say you had enough resources and just kind of give up on it? Yeah. Yeah, you should probably keep <laughs> picking crap up. So when we first went through this area, we actually went the wrong way. And made it far more challenging than it needed to be. We are like, oh, we're fighting all these, uh, a whole, like, hive of bees. I mean, we're not going the right way this time. <laughs> no, I'm collecting resources first, but there's a lot of, like, stuff here on the beach that we can get. But yeah, this is not the right way. The way to, to figure out which uh, way is the correct way to go for the tutorial. What, what is all this stuff here? Flint. Oh, okay. We I don't have the pickaxe yet. I was like, we are going the wrong way. But the, the way to ensure you're going the correct way is to follow the owls. These uh, tutorial owls that you'll see marking the path. So just show you guys where we're currently at on the map. This is a little island here. So there's all kinds of resources here. That's where you'll find Flint, I guess. Yeah, so might want to make a mental note of that. That there's a lot of Flint over here if it's something that we need a bit later. Though this is kind of a way off from the other stuff though, so I don't know if we'd want to come back here. Yeah, you do not want to try and swim Unlike in a lot of survival games, you cannot swim in this one. He'll drown. Yeah, he'll drown. I don't know why, like, you would think that we would be able to swim. I mean, I could see, like, strong currents being a problem for, like, these little, tiny, small folk, but, uh... Yeah, here's the owls I was talking about, guys. So these are the tutorials. It got me. I am not rolling quick enough. There we go. I finally leveled up. Say, so if you follow these owl effigies, then they'll take you through the tutorial section. And they explain all the game's mechanics and all that kind of good stuff for you. Do you need any of this fiber? I'm just like picking I'm up everything I find. I'm everything up, yeah. I feel like you can't have enough resources initially. Yeah. And then when you start working on your mansion, you're going to be like, I need more. Yeah, when we build our first base, then we're definitely going to want to have as many resources as we can get. And I think all this does help with uh, leveling up as well. So we'll kind of try and click on these so you guys can read them. For those of you who are perhaps new to the game, trying to decide if it's uh, something you'd be interested in. If you do like the survival and crafting games, then this will probably be right up your alley. I haven't had a survival crafting game come out on PlayStation in a while, or it seems like it has been a while. 
Yeah, if the you're uh, a lover of bugs, though, it might not be for you. Because you got to kill bugs. Yeah. You got to kill bugs. And all the bugs that you would think would be your friends are not. Like, the ladybugs will turn on you at night. Well, you can befriend, you know, like, tame many of the different critters. I think we'll see a tutorial about that soon. And the way to do it is by beating them over the head first. <laughs> arc style. Yeah, arc oh, style. Are grasshoppers. Yeah, you can tame those. Apparently, these are the best mounts to have. The grasshoppers? Yeah. Now, we can't uh, tame stuff yet. Now, I don't think this is the way to go. I don't think so either. Yeah, it doesn't look familiar at all. I think we go up the up this path here. Stay the course. So let's not get distracted because, again, when we did so before, it was much more difficult than it needed to be. And so, yeah, we'll try and stay on the tutorial path. And, and plus, we would like to get to the, uh, to the little base area where you create your base. Let's teach you about the tombstones for when you die. Because you will die. I've got an ant. At least a couple times. Yeah, the uh, the bees, man. Kind of a threat. Yeah, you really need the range weapons for the bees. Yeah, we'll get some stuff crafted up here soon, guys. Pretty much, I think... Maybe right here. There, there's some bees somewhere around here. Do you want this blackberry? Oh, I hear somebody flapping. Maybe we should do it right here. Yeah. Well, I was trying to get the mushrooms so we can oh, cook those. Yeah. So you know what? Let's get that first. We could also construct a bed, just somewhere, so that we'd have somewhere to spawn. So if we, we died. Don't have to start all over again. I mean, it's really not that far. The area we're trying to get to. That's far right here. So this is about creature resistances and weaknesses. So yeah, we'll harvest up these edible mushrooms. The red ones are poisonous. Jinx asked me. She's like, are these uh, poisonous? And if you walk over to them, it straight up says poisonous. Well, I hadn't walked <laughs> up to them yet. You can see they got poisonous like, mushrooms. Oh, are they poisonous? I wonder if the poisonous mushrooms are poisonous. I wonder. I want to say there's some more mushrooms up this way. I gotta try it way. out for science. Yeah, uh, we can harvest these. I think there's a, a beetle some around here. I'd like to avoid. They're kind of difficult in the beginning, at least. Yeah. I feel like when we're together, it's better. But... They don't do a ton of damage. The The problem is... Oh, there he is. Is that they have a lot of health. Yeah. And so if we Why? have to fight this guy... I mean, it just seems like it'd be better to avoid fighting him, honestly. Well, he wants to fight you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he hit me. Yeah, so it's not really the damage you got to worry about with these guys. He's on my, on my tail. Oh, uh, there's mushrooms here we could have harvested. <laughs> yeah. You had to go get friends. Yeah. Let me see if I can't lose them by jumping on this mushroom. <laughs> yeah, he's ignoring me. I think he's going after you now. Yeah, he's going after me. That's nice. He's just super confused no, now. No, he doesn't know what confused. to do. He's like, uh. <laughs> what do I do? He's following my scent. <laughs> he's tracking you, Jinx. Oh, God, he is. All right, so I think I think he's going to leave he us alone now. All right, so let me go harvest these mushrooms over here. I'm glad we don't have to, like, manage our thirst. Yeah, there's no thirst management. Just the food. Honestly, it feels like the uh, that part of it isn't that bad compared to some other games. Survival games. But yeah, it's, it's been a long time since we played a, a game like this in this genre. Mm -hmm. You know, we started with uh, Seven Days to Die. That Which was our I first can't wait one. I for that to get updated. Yeah, that's supposed to be getting a PS5 version, actually. And that's going to be the, the full version. If you guys recall, when we were covering the, the PlayStation 4 version of the game, it was published by Telltale. The same ones who made, you know, the Walking Dead game and all those other Telltale games. They didn't develop it, but they published it. And so when they went under, basically the rights to that game got just all messed up. Lost. Mm-hmm. So it kind of became a disaster for it. And so it wasn't getting updated at all. The console version wasn't. So the PC version continued to get updated and get new content. And it's now at this point a drastically different game. 
from what we have on console, which hasn't gotten an update in a very long time. And so now I believe the developers of the game have the rights to it again for the console version, I mean. I guess we'll avoid fighting that insect. And so they're planning on uh, updating it. They're working on it now. Is that bee chasing us? It sure seems Somebody like it. Somebody is. Yeah. We might have to fight a bee. Oh, there's two. Without the bow. So unfortunate. Might die. We do have bandages, though, so... They can poison you. You're not hitting them at all. No, I'm not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's better when we're working together, but... Yeah. Ugh. I don't know if there's any way to lock on. The typical lock on button will turn it to. So. We'll turn it to first person. Yeah, you can either roll or hit them, it seems. <laughs> or get hit. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can't heal up real quick, guys. We are exhausted. Got one. Also, our weapon needs to be. Shooter! <laughs> ah! I oh, got geez. the other one. If you want to get the goodies off of that, oh, he's over there on your, need to heal. on your left. All right, so I think this is the place where, yeah, because we got more bees up ahead. This is where we decided to start doing some crafting and stuff. Uh, you can see that our tool is also needing to be repaired. You have to have the crafting bench to do that. And so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and start doing a bit of crafting here, which I thought I had my hammer. But apparently not. It's not put in place. Let's go ahead and fix that. We're going to put it right here, actually. And then we'll do the bandages up here as well. All right, so let's go ahead and start constructing a few things. We're going to get the workbench so that we can craft things. Or have more things that we can craft. And then we'll also get the campfire so that we can do a bit of cooking. Band-aids. All right, so let's go ahead and get... You do the simple bandages. There's also the healing patch, which uses the honey crumble. I don't know if there's anything else you need honey crumble for, though, so... I'll just stick to the, the bandages for now. We'll get a few of these. For healing. And then we're going to also want to get a bow. Here's that sword sword that we were talking about. The edge damage, as you can see, is 3 to 4, compared to the hatchets, 4 to 6. A higher critical hit. It chance. does have a higher critical hit chance. It's uh, slightly higher. Seems that the stamina usage is a lot higher though, so you yeah. can't swing it as often. And then the blocking power is a lot better, like much, much better. Well, that seems to be the main bonus from it. So I don't know why you'd use the sword over the hatchets. Maybe those of you who are more experienced with the game can let me know what I'm missing if there is anything I'm missing. All right, so we need to get plenty of arrows here. All right, so I should probably keep some wood and fiber for repairing. If they're not that damaged, like none of this stuff is, then it won't require any resources. But for this wood hatchet, you can see it will require some resources since we, uh, not much, but uh, since we did a little, a little bit more damage to that. So let's go ahead and, are you done with it or are you still using it? Okay, I'm done. All right, so let's go and make sure we dismantle that. When you dismantle things, you do get your resources back. And so now let's go and use the campfire. We're gonna make a few things. We're gonna make an ant skewer with those heads. And then we're gonna make some mushroom steaks as well. We're gonna make quite a few of these. That'll be the main thing that we're gonna be eating. And then we'll go ahead and get those put into our toolbar. Uh, maybe not this one, because we're gonna eat this. Eat both of those. And then put the mushroom steaks up here. It would also be nice if there was a way to like craft more than one thing. Are you done with the, the yes. fire? Just a suggestion. So it's already getting dark, guys. We do need to equip our bow. We could sleep. That would Probably be an option. We should, so we can save. Because if we die now, we're going to go all the way back to the beginning. Yeah. The only problem with it is that you have to put it under a shelter, which I guess it's helpful to show how to do this. The way to do this easiest, it seems, is to build a foundation. The foundation is meant to be like your floor, so you put it here, but if you raise it up just a bit, then it serves as a shelter. You can put stuff under it. 
trying to get it just right here. Get as much space as possible. Alright, so we're going to build that there. And then we'll go ahead and replace our bed underneath it, our simple bed. And so this will serve as both a spawn point and allow us to sleep through the night, which heals you and everything. I don't have enough stuff. And Jinx didn't save enough stuff. Whatever you do, do not try and sleep if the other player on your server cannot sleep too. I got stuck like that. Stuck yeah. sleeping until, uh, I guess we can activate the spawn point. Wait, I got stuck sleeping until Jinx was able to assemble a bed. Oh, shit. Oh. Ant warrior. Oh, because it's nighttime, yep. Yeah. It's a little bit tougher ant enemy here. Took his yeah. head. Alright, so we should probably get like our torch out as well. We actually you have, have extra it. fiber or did you use, use all yours? I will take a look here for you, Jinx. See, I got 16. How much do you need to craft the, the bed and everything? Let me see. I guess I could craft this for you. That doesn't need to be made by you. That would be nice. See, I can make the... See how much materials you need for the bed. I need one wood and two fiber. Alright, so we're gonna put this like this here. Sleep so next can to you. Sleep next to you, Jelly. What'd you say you need? Uh, one wood, two fiber. You don't even have that. No. <laughs> I have five wood. Here's five fiber for you, Jinx. That's so nice. Now I have found that you gotta exit your inventory to be able to drop something. For whatever reason, I'm not entirely sure why it does that. So you can see I can't seem to like split the wood or anything either without going out and then going back in. So yeah, let's go ahead and drop this for Jinx. And then we'll also give her some wood, but we gotta go back in the inventory. Yeah, to do there's that. some issues. Yeah, maybe it's just stuff I'm not uh, understanding or whatever, but yeah, it does seem like there's some issues. All right, so Jinx has her materials to craft her bed, and then we'll we'll get some shed eye. Collision with what? The floor, probably. Yeah, that might be a problem. So Jinx is not able to actually put the bed under there, so we might have to get rid of the oh, foundation. Hang on, I can put it. Because we are kind of on a go. hill here, so that I'll causes just some issues. Sleep with my head out. <laughs> <laughs> all right, are you ready? To, yes. Uh, all right, so we fall into a deep slumber. And you turn into a hammer. <laughs> yeah, and they do have this uh, first person mode here, for if you prefer that. All right, so we're going to leave all this here for if we need to sleep again. And that's also our save point for now. Larby bees up ahead. Oh, yes, we need to make use of our bow. So I have not quite gotten the hang of the bow yet. Yeah. Oh, these are the, these might be the nighttime ones. I'm oh, not totally sure. No. His eyes are glowing like he's a nighttime one. Oh, geez. All right, so trying to back up and hit these. Looks like Jinx is taking the brunt of their aggression right now. They're angry at me. He's coming after me now. Almost got this guy dead. There we go. Hey, I'm getting better, though. Oh, I didn't know you are still fighting. I'm over here, like, looting. <laughs> Come on. There we go. All right, so if you want to get his goodies, Jinx. He didn't I'm going to level up. We got three attribute points. Uh, so let's put this into... We'll get another point in strength, constitution... And endurance. Not entirely sure how the best way to level up was. This is something we probably have to discover uh, as we play a bit more. But luckily, you can reset your tribute points in uh, the camp. So yeah, you don't have to worry about like, messing oh it no, up. Oh no, I messed up my stats. Yeah, yeah, doesn't seem like something you got to worry about in the long term. We cannot harvest the stone yet. We need to get a manipulator. Pickaxe? Man mandibular. Mandibular pickaxe? We need a, a bull ant jaw. 
This teaches us about the bows. And so yeah, we uh, can't harvest a lot of the resources just yet. We just don't have the proper tools, but we can harvest these plants over here. No, we can't. This is a crude hatchet. Okay, so that's not the one I was thinking it was. Oh, and there's a beetle right there. Beetle. Let's just ignore that guy, or maybe run from him. Though we'll go ahead and take a look at this real quick so you can see <laughs> what it says. Oh, he tripped. <laughs> He's trying run to get away. me. I don't know if we'll be able to run from them. They do follow you for quite some time. They're very adamant. There's one up here, but he's stuck in a rock. It's about the day and night cycle. You can pause it if you'd like to read it. Oh, it looks like he did give up. He's like, uh, he's the fastest tiny person alive. It seems we do need to eat after. Oh, he did. Oh, yeah. After sleeping, so go ahead and take a snack break. Snack break, guys. I'm over yes. here snacking while Jinx is fighting. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> Can't fight on an empty stomach, guys. I got it. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> do you need these blackberries over here? No, I'm good. <laughs> you do you. Nourishment is really important, Jinx. Make sure you eat and drink regularly. Yeah, See? I'm trying. I'm trying. I'll do the ant hunting. We're gonna have crunchy ant heads for dinner. With a nice little berry cobbler. Well, now you're getting me hungry. We have I not know, eaten dinner to... yet. Normally we record much later uh, than we're currently recording. Jinx got off early today. But yeah, we figured we should know how to play. Yeah, so we played for a few hours. And uh, recording before dinner today. Which, those of you guys who've been on our channel for a, while, for a while know that that's never good. No, because then we just start talking about food. We just talk about food for the whole episode, yeah. Well, I mean, there's blackberries everywhere, and I love them. Blackberries are delicious. I have always been a fan of blackberries. One of my favorite berries. Might be my favorite berry. I don't know. They're up there. I like blueberries. I like strawberries. I do not like blueberries. I hate blueberries. Jinx is always buying blueberries. Kids like them as well. I just do not like them. I love all the berries. Not a fan of them. But yeah, after uh, seven days of die, we then covered Ark. And that was our big survival game for quite some time. Oh, I've had a bottle cap. Oh, nice. But yeah, we played a lot of Ark back in the day. Are you fighting again? Yeah. I'm coming. Oh, oh, got it. Never mind. I think she's just a warrior over here. Yep. Taking out all the ants. <laughs> she don't even need I my assistance. I saved myself. <laughs> and I would like help. <laughs> Alright, so here is the next owl effigy on harvesting. I guess we should probably get some of this resin here. It's a lot of it. You want that last one? Got it. Yeah, we have not played Ark in a long time. For me, it became just a little too grindy. Well, and they were just trolling the players. Like, they're, every update, you're like, how are they going to make this game more irritating for me? Yeah, they kept adding enemies that were irritating to fight. Steal like, your poison shit. you, or yeah, steal your <laughs> crap and run off with it or whatever. Just swinging it air. Me so strong. <laughs> yeah, just uh, annoying elements for that, and then it was also already one of the more grindy games as far as like resource collection, because mm -hmm. it just requires. Oh wait, I didn't know we could pick up these screws. Let's get these. Pick up all the peoply things. Yeah, there's also a key over here. We can't get that. Key is giant. This shows just how small <laughs> our uh, small folk are. I feel like that's not accurate. What does that key go to? Or just we're just really tiny, Jinx. I guess I'm not tiny. Oh, 
Yeah, it, it was already a really grindy game. Like, the amount of resources you had to collect and how long it took. And Seven Days to Die could be like that, too. But it wasn't as annoying with it. I enjoyed it for a time, anyway. So we can go up to the top of this tree here with the owl. The only real point of doing that is that I think this is like a religious monument or something that people leave their, I don't know, sacrifices to. Cookies. They leave their goodies to, yeah. Their offerings. Their baked goods. And so there's a bunch of food up there. There's some berries and a few other things. So you can eat it if you want to, but that's kind of messed up. Yeah, I mean, it's meant for the gods or whoever they worship in this world. Unless they like to share. Are they nice gods? Seems like they might be. So this teaches you about the taming the creatures. Again, you do gotta beat them down a little bit. It says they'll only accept treats once they recognize you as their leader, so make sure you beat them into submission first. So yeah. So cruel. Well, Are then you, you can give really them the treats. even friends if you yeah. didn't beat them into submission <laughs> first? <laughs> You know, I had some fairly decent friendships that started with the fight. <laughs> you know what? I did too. Like you'd fight somebody and then just get a level of mutual respect with each other. This is the big plant I was talking about, though, the rye, where we collect a lot of fiber from this. Which I thought this plant was, but you know, this is obviously not rye. For me, it was all a misunderstanding between the two of us and shit that was started by people that weren't even us. Just drama. Just drama. Tons of sprouts here, guys, for us to get these fibers again. We're going to try and collect everything. Big part of this game. Sometimes when you play these survival games, you get some people who complain, like, why are you picking everything up? Because why are you doing you all, so much it. resource collection? You know, we'd be sitting in our collecting wood for 15 minutes and... Some people complain. It's like, look, this is part of the game. It's part of survival crafting games. And, you know, you could do it all off camera and stuff, but, uh, again, it's, it's kind of part of this But then they'd also be games. like, why is your house so shitty? <laughs> yeah, and then they complain because you didn't do anything. You didn't craft anything. <laughs> you didn't build up yet. Why do you have such shitty stuff? So this is, I think, the wrong way, right? I don't think we're going the right way here. I think we needed to go a different way, but... I'm not sure. I feel like this is the right Is way. it? It this might be. Path. When we did this before, it was nighttime and everything was all lit up. And I do see some lights yeah, over there. So this light. might be the right way. Yeah, this is the right way. Because there's the old man. Oh, okay. Yeah, Jinx has found it. So yeah, we're no going the correct way. way. We're going to pick all these mushrooms up so we can cook them. Eat them up. Because we do clearly need to eat quite often. You can see we already are down below 80 at the moment. Well, we've got tiny tummies. Yeah, I guess that's that's true. Is that uh, smaller creatures often have faster metabolisms and therefore need to eat more often. So we'll go in there in a minute. Let's first, we'll, we'll do this as we're supposed to. I think we're supposed to go up this way. Talk to this other guy first. And then we'll talk to the elder inside the tree. But there is a ton of resources up along this path. And we're going to collect them all because we're going to try and do some, some base building. I don't know how much of that we'll get in today's episode. I'd like to at least get to the top of the tree where you can show where you know how you claim that area. It takes a minute. Yeah, and the, the climbing of the tree and how that works. So I'd like to show that. I guess I'll let Jinx collect all that over there. I'm just going racing. That's my resources. <laughs> it's all going in the same spot. <laughs> and uh, also, just kind of talk about how that works with the sharing of of a base in a way. Because technically, both players are supposed to claim their own base. Yeah. You can kind of share a base by making it public, so you guys can work together and use the same stuff and construct there. Yeah, so if you're going to play with somebody, they better really be your friend, because you got to share the old school way. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. they can destroy all your crap. All right, so we're going to go ahead and talk to this guy here. I guess we'll wait till Jinx gets up here. we got a few more resources we can collect. I'm here. Okay, so let's go ahead and chat with this uh, Hearn character. Greetings, Vanguard. I am Captain Ernest Manakabi, but you can just call me Ernie. What can I do for you? 
It's Ernie. I'm going to pronounce it. I don't know. I'm Ern. saying it's Ernie. It could be Ernie. <laughs> Ernie. Maybe. I don't know. But yeah. We, we call him whatever. It just looks like Hearn to me. Captain, I'm reporting on behalf of my superior, Hildred. We were attacked by a frenzied hornet while patrolling the southern pond. Thank you, Vanguard. I'm afraid yours is but one of several such reports in the past few days. We've identified a few treetops that could serve as a safer locations to establish encampments. So the great tree encampment location has been added to our map. Uh, players can move their buildings between claimed trees. Encampments built on claimed trees can also be transferred to other servers. So that's kind of an important element for this uh, base building mechanic. For now, please report to Elder Ludwig at the base of the hill. Let him know about this hornet attack. All right, so we could read through all these. What I'll just do is let you guys read them if you want. In a cave down the hill, like I said. <laughs> uh... We do want to craft this armor though. So there's two choices with this initial character. You have the padded armor, which is better for the cold weather, and then the light armor, which increases your speed, but provides, I think they might provide all the same protection actually. Yeah, it looks like if you look at the, yeah. the body armor, it's eight, which is the same that our current armor is, by the way, guys. So we're not, not actually gonna get any extra protection here. And as far as protection goes, it doesn't matter which one we get. So it's really about, do you want to increase your movement speed by a slight amount? Or do you want the cold weather stuff? It seems like it'd be useful to have the cold, the cold weather stuff right now. So that's what we're going to get. So we don't have to come back for all this stuff. I think we have the, the stuff to make it now too. Can you craft things? Can you craft the armor? I think you can on the workbench. Okay, because I had seen a video, now given this was not a recent video, that was saying that you can only craft the armor with these people. So that could have been changed, because this game was in early access for quite some time. And so they made a lot of changes throughout the early access period. And let's go ahead and talk. Oops. Talk with them, just go ahead and show the rest of the stuff here. So this is where you reset your tribute allocations. And I guess that's the only thing there is for us to look at here. Let's take a look and see if we have any more attributes, tribute points. We do not. These clothes are so ugly. Yeah, they're, they're not great. I'm surprised you didn't go with the light armor. But I guess you like to be cozy, huh? I'm pretty sure we're wearing the sphincter of some animal. Yeah, kind of looks like it. The intestines. You didn't want the, the light armor so you could run faster? I mean, I did, but I feel like we should match. Because then twinsies. whenever I'm freezing to death, you're like, I told you you should have brought a sweater. <laughs> I told you. Oh, and Jinx likes being cozy, too. Why don't we pick up these insect eggs? Oh. Do you Can want one? raise them? Or eat them, probably. Probably eat them. So we don't actually need to go in here, guys, but there's some there's some, some resources in here, so we'll just pick these up real quick. There's a few more down there. I don't know if it's worth going all the way down there for them, though. Nah. Yeah, there's not a lot down there. We'll come back when we're desperate. Yeah. When we've robbed the forest of all it had to offer. I feel like a lot of stuff respawns though, because when we left the server and went back in, you know, testing all this, making sure it all worked out, a lot of things seem to have respawned. Maybe. Because there was quite a few, you know, plants and uh, wood on the ground. So I think some of it might respawn. But yeah, the, the current armor that we have should keep us warm in the winter. Hopefully anyways. Because the game does feature seasons, as many survival games do. And so I'm not entirely sure what season we start in. I would assume spring. Yeah, it seems springy. I'm not entirely sure, though. But yeah, this would probably be spring. It supposedly gets hot in the summer. Do I don't know if that's the case, though. I, I don't know. Because I didn't see anything about heat protection. Yeah, I don't think that's... That's a factor. I think it just makes you like tireder. 
This could all be wrong, though, again, because, you know, the information changed so much from early access and just what people were speculating they were going to add. And so until we experience it, we can't say for sure. All right, so the Elder is in here. I thought you were going to get that resin. Nee. Jinx doesn't want sticky pockets. I've already got sticky pockets. All right. Greetings, Vanguard. What are you doing in this overgrown cave? It's my home, asshole. The jeweled clover key that unlocks the apothecary's chest has gone missing. I fear it may have been stolen. We're here trying to find some other means of opening the chest. Melkar was the royal family's personal apothecary. This cave we're standing in was his personal laboratory here in the Overland. He would spend countless days searching the Overland for rare ingredients to use in his potion. Tell me about these treasures in the chest. Melkar, the apothecary's greatest achievement, the elixir of life. He claimed it could heal any ailment known to small folk. Do you know who might have taken the clover key? The key was locked in the royal vault, which is always under heavy guard. Only the king and I are allowed entry. The theft was noticed when the queen became ill and the clover key was needed, but it could have happened some time ago. I don't know. I'm old. Have you tried bashing the chest? We dare not. The chest is heavily reinforced and we would risk destroying the elixir within. Ah, yes, we've received troubling reports from overland settlers in the forest. It seems as though some of the creatures in the area have become unusually agitated and aggressive. Does this have anything to do with the clover key? It is an interesting coincidence, but we have no evidence to suggest that there is a connection. You'll find the settlers scattered throughout the forest, so I've marked their locations on your map. Be careful, Vanguard. The wilderness is filled with danger. Ernie and Caleb can help you survive here in the Overland. Oops. We don't want to hear about that again. So that's the Elder and Jinx's Elder vo voice, apparently. It changed, I know. <laughs> it was all over the place. <laughs> And uh, down here is where the chest is, which you can try and mess with it, even though that guy clearly told you not to do it. But you can. Doesn't do anything, though. We tried. Oh, he's like a lunar moth guy. I'm going to pet him. Okay, I have to go look at him up close now. Show you guys what Jinx is talking about. Oh, that's his hat. Oh. Yeah, it's, he probably looks the same as us. I'm going to take his hat. He might be able to make it. Yeah, this is the chest. You can try opening it, you won't be able to. Examining it doesn't seem to reveal too much. Tell me, old wise one, how do you craft your hat? So this is the hat Jinx wants. I want it. Why does he get the big old shaggy beard? And I can't. Because I'm just you're not, not old, old enough. I guess it does take a while to grow a long beard. I've been growing mine for quite some time now. This here is the tree that we need to climb. And you can see it's a long climb, guys. So the way to start is right up here, I think. Yeah, right up here. So this is kind of a, I guess one of the components of the game is trying to get up these trees. And they can be a little tricky due to the, the platforming's, I don't know, a little rough. Yeah, you're a little floaty when you're jumping. So there's a couple parts where we had some difficulty getting our, our character to latch on. Whoa. <laughs> so yeah, it can be kind of a pain in the butt in some parts, but it's really not, it's not that bad. Though don't fall, because I assume you would die. If you're afraid of heights, this is not for you. Ooh. <laughs> I thought it was funny that they had the uh, arachnophobia setting. Oh, yeah. Or if you're you're scared of spiders, I guess. And what's interesting is, like, it's a number. So, like, how scared of spiders are you? I love them. So the number goes up, I don't know, like, two or three or something like that. So I don't know if that, like, removes them or maybe makes them look really silly so you won't be scared <laughs> of them. I, I don't know exactly what it did because we haven't tried it. I almost want to try it, though, just to see exactly what it does. That would be interesting. Oh, Lord. Come on. There we go. 
So far, it's been easier going up this time than it was the first time I went up. Maybe just because I'm a little bit more familiar with more experience. How to latch onto things. Shroom hopper. Oh shit! I almost fell. Yeah, it hasn't been as as bad. There's like a couple mushrooms I got stuck on. Kind of get up. I wish there was some boingy mushrooms where you could jump real high. Jump real high. Now, luckily, you only need to climb this once. Or at least each tree once. Because there's a, a little elevator-like thing. Like, where was that this whole time? You just build it as soon as you hop up there? Yeah, I guess so. Well, I mean, it was here already. Seems like we should have had, like, a bell or something. We could have called him. <laughs> So this is where you claim the tree, and only one player can claim it. The spirit of the great tree is listening. What is it that you wish, Vanguard? So I'm going to claim it since it will call Jinx up Yay. to the top. <laughs> and since, you know, we got the uh, recording software hooked up to, to my PlayStation, I'm player one. You're always player one, <laughs> which is fine. I'm player two. So this is the build space, guys, that we can construct things. So you can build a, a fairly large base, I think, in this area. And you can climb all over the branches if you so desire for whatever reason. What you do. So we need to first set our base as public here. So we do that in here. So that Jinx can now construct things and use, use the things we have here. Uh, you can also unclaim the base. Oops, I set it back to private, my bad. There we go. So now we can build together. All right, so we'll just construct something right in the middle here for now. Can always deconstruct everything. And so we're gonna put the first foundation down right here. So if you want to help lay foundations, Jinx, I'm thinking like a three by three for right now, just initially. Of course, you might want to start. Oh, did you want to do it over here? Not this way, like over here. I was just fixing my angle. And then I'll get the uh, the next stuff going. So in order to place a door, we need to get the door frame. Now it does matter which side you do it on. You'll notice that the sides are different. I feel like the wood should be on the outside. Do you think so? Yeah. I mean, it looks like an inside thing to me, but... Does that? I mean, I guess for the door, but... I mean, like, if you just look at the... The way the walls look... Let me show you with the... I don't know, that looks weird on the outside, I feel. This is the... Well, that looks like wallpaper. I mean, kind of. It's I don't know. It's fine either way, it doesn't matter. I think this is the way it's supposed to be, but... I guess we'll just place that there now, and place one here. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but it seems like that's supposed to be on the inside. But... So we'll get that, and then we'll get some windows as well. You want the windows on the side here? Sure. Oops. So put one window here, and then maybe one on this side as well. Sure. Need lots of windows. For that natural light. Do you think we need them on the Since back we're or just not really these? worried about the bugs getting in? <laughs> do we uh, just want these two or do you want one on the back as well? Uh, yeah, just the two. Okay. And we might extend it, change how we do this as well. All right, so let's get all the walls placed. You want to help construct walls, sure. things? And then we'll uh, start with the roof. And this will allow us to have a, a covered space. Did we want to make it a higher? I mean, it uses a lot of resources. I don't have much fiber. Yeah. I, I like, like the higher look. I do too. I feel like every, you know, structure that you build needs to be like two layers. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's like you're going to hit your head. Yeah. You can't stretch. You're going to bonk your arms. Like, I yeah, feel I like it'd be the, worth it. I prefer doing it that way, but I don't have the fibers. How many fibers do you got left? 
Um, I have 14, so I'm going to have enough 40, for her. So. Did you want to yeah. build the second layer sure. then? Do you want any windows up top? or? I guess it's up to you. Do you want windows up top? I guess they'd look kind of good in the front. Okay. Having like a window on each side. You need to flip it though. You guys can't see Jinx's screen here. So yeah, I should get those placed and I'll show you what other options we got for construction. I'll put one window on each wall on the front and the back. Okay. So we have uh, several different choices here for the, the roofing. Kind of let you make the roof up here how you want it to. Here's our decorations. You can do a, a cap table with that bottle cap we found. You can also put trophies up with our bee heads, our ant head, that we'd need refined wood, which we do not have access to just yet. All right, so now that Jinx has some of these plays, I can start looking at trying to do well, I guess we might want to start putting stuff in here first. Make sure How we get the you, basics. Like, get up there to put your roof on, though. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. I would think you'd have to construct like a little stairs. thing to, yeah, to jump up on. Or yeah, stairs oh, would be an option yeah, as well. Yeah, foundation, like a scaffold or yeah. of some sort. Mm -hmm, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Something you could jump up on. I mean, I guess that's nice. You do get your resources back from dismantling. Yeah, I so like that. you don't have to worry about constructing things that are. You know, useless. All right, so we just putting these flat roofs on top like this. Um, I mean, I guess. I mean, we can do other looks here if you're wanting. You want to do like a specific type of wanting to get fancy. Yeah, like we could do one like this. I guess you could have done that as well. Oh yeah, that would have worked. Yeah, yeah instead of what we did. It's getting dark now. Yeah, it is spooky. So we could have done that. If we wanted a more, uh, I mean, I guess that's really not bad. It could have created a really interesting look. Or you could do that, and then we could have make like a loft area inside. You got these ones too, so you can do like a little corner. Well, this looks nice. nice. See, a lot of options for roofs, guys. These are all the corners here. You can also make it like a kind of teepee look or whatever. Yeah. So it might be something we want to play around with. We'll figure out a roof situation. Yeah. Because there's a storm coming. We'll do it off camera here. And unfortunately, we do have to end this here. The only thing I'd like to do right now is probably get a bed placed. Yeah, build your damn bed. <laughs> yeah, though we would need some type of roof. I guess I can just place a foundation out here real quick and we can move the bed. So we can... uh. Oh, yeah. I think it'll let you build it. It just says it's not sheltered. Yeah, you wouldn't, be able, you wouldn't be able to sleep if we wanted oh. to sleep through the night. Yeah, I suppose we can just put it there. We don't have to sleep through the night. We got torches. Which yeah, it's fine. Which are you picking? I don't know. We got to sleep next to each other somewhere, so... Can you put it on the same square? It seems like we could put it on the mm, same square. I guess maybe you put yours, and then I'll try to squeeze mine next to yours. Do you want to be over here in the back? In the center is fine, yeah. Right there. Okay. And storm is broken, so we actually do need shelter, Jinx. But we're not sheltered. All right, so to me, I'm trying to, my guy's like flipping out here. Oh, jeez, I'd be shivering. Okay, so let's. I can't, it's too wobbly. Activate, <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. So we activated the spawn point, now we're freezing. And so I think we do need to get, ooh, you die quickly when there's a storm. So we're just gonna put the foundation down real quick so we can hide under it. It doesn't even have to be anything fancy, guys. The, the wobbling causes issues. All right, you just need to stand under it, and then you're sheltered. And you can see our health is now. Are we? My health's still dropping. I'm not saying we're still freezing. Maybe this is not sheltered enough. This isn't shelter. Somebody lied to you. <laughs> Maybe they changed it. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of going up. I mean... Yeah, it's going up. We're good, Jinx. Maybe you're pushing me out of it. That's what it was. And we need snacks as well. Okay, well, I'm going to have to build a something to hide under because good grief. Maybe you both can't fit under there. It doesn't matter. The clouds disperse and oh. all is all right, James. We're good. We're <laughs> it's good. It's all fine. 
I'm eating so many blackberries. It's gonna run right through me, guys. <laughs> All this fruit. Delicious. But yeah, let's get our nourishment up. All right, so yeah, it wasn't it wasn't too bad. The storm was pretty quick, and I guess we got our our first storm in our first episode as well. Uh, but we do have to end this one here. We'll uh, work on the roof, and when we come back, we'll start placing all of our uh, crafting crafting stations. So I hope you guys did enjoy this first episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. If you're looking for anything to watch while you wait for the next episode, check out the front page of our channel. We got a ton of videos, like, like 3,000 something, maybe close to 4,000 at this point. Uh, including quite a few from the survival genre, though again, it has been a while since we played uh, a game quite like this. We played all those ones as they came out, you know, Stranded Deep, Ark, uh, Seven Days to Die. There's been some more recent ones that are slipping my mind, but we played a lot of them, guys. And so if you like the survival genre, you should be able to find something you would enjoy watching. If you're looking for any links, check out the description of any of our videos. You'll find links to our PayPal, Patreon, and Teespring store if you'd like to help support the channel. You can also become a member here on YouTube. You can find a link to our Discord if you'd like to join our community. Oh, it's getting dark. We're going to have to pull our torch out here. And then Praetorian said, let there be lights. Apparently, Jinx is putting some torches all around our house as well. But yeah, if you're looking for any links to our social media, you'll find those in the description of the videos as well. So I do hope to see you guys on the next episode, and thanks for watching.